I saw this. I I couldn't help it. I, I have to talk about this. Additional stop 2795 says husband is addicted to this game. <laughs> Advice? I'm speaking as a husband who is obsessed, addicted to this game. My wife literally came out and she asked me uh, if I was done yet. And I felt a little bit badly, but at the same time, I'm just like, I need to get all these ideas out and new ideas keep popping up. And you guys know I have a goal to, um, you know, put out content, to, to put 500 videos out by the end of the year. So I'm really pumping this out. Hi all, my husband is literally obsessed with this game to the point it's causing major issues in our marriage as he can't function without it or be present in day-to-day -day life. Um, I, it's not this bad for me, I want you guys to know. But also, my wife is a gamer. Like, she understands, she's cool with it. Uh, there is no strain on our marriage or anything. I give her more than enough ample time literally binge-watching seasons of, I don't know, Too Hot to Handle and um love on the spectrum or love is blind you know all these all these uh drama shows we watch it together like i spend time with my wife i give her a lot of attention and we work together so we're with each other all the time uh just so you guys know there's no issue between us because i know one one or two of you guys is going to make a comment about my relationship with my wife trust me i love my wife she loves me we're good this is a different story someone please explain to me how it's like gambling or what i should look for in terms of money coming out of our account wow that's insane. That's interesting. Also, I've heard there are heaps of ads on the game. What are these things advertising specifically? Wow. That's insane, bro. <laughs> My God. Do you know how addicted you have to be to raid for your wife to come onto a raid Reddit post and ask for help or like insight? Holy shit, bro. God damn. Holy fuck. That's so crazy, dude. Am I... What? <laughs> Is this my wife? Am I the only one who had to check and make sure this wasn't my wife? Holy fuck. <laughs> LMAO, same. Lamau, guilty. This game is an elite time waster, most of all. Um, shit, that's fucking funny. I've done a few videos with my wife, by the way, on my channel. I've done some shard pulls with her. I've done uh, Smash or Pass with every character in the game with her. Um, so, yeah. Uh, him being addicted to it doesn't necessarily mean there's any money being spent. You can absolutely play free-to-play. Many people do. There's also low spenders, medium spenders, high spenders, and whales. My advice is to actually see if any money is being spent. If there's none being spent, then it'll probably just taper off over time, as I've advanced my account free I've spent less, wait, as I've advanced my free account, I've spent less time on it daily as you can just do things faster. True. But, asterisk, you know what I mean? Uh, this game does heavily encourage spending, though. People do get addicted. If it's a genuine financial concern, then call the bank block transaction with the company. That's, yeah. Honestly, yeah. My advice to you is to really have a sit-down talk heart to heart with him let him know how you feel <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing not because i'm 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 laughing at the situation i'm not laughing at her or her husband like if it she this seems like an issue for her this seems like it's a very serious thing for her and her relationship oh god wow sorry i'm i'm like wrapping my head around this maybe i'm blowing things out of context maybe i'm just over exaggerating but fuck man um she came to a raid Reddit post, dude. She doesn't even play raid. That's fucking wild, bro. Oh, shit. Um, if you are free to play and can't get enough energy, you make two free to play accounts. This, this right here, this is also pretty good. But yeah, um, that's probably my best advice. Talk to your husband, let him know your concerns, hash it out. Like, if he's really a man, well, I don't want to say if he's really a man, but I think any, I think, any good husband well let me don't, let me not put a blanket statement out what i do is i communicate with my wife i think my success in life and as a husband is predicated on the the happiness of my wife right if my wife is if my wife is hap happy if my wife is happy i'm happy plain and simple right so if she were to come to me and tell me hey babe you're you're on this game too much 
or you know i i need some attention from you which she has before right she's asked me hey could you put that down like i just i just need some attention from you like you, you know what i mean like I just, I just want you here in the moment i'd be like yeah sure 100 percent, no questions asked i don't fight her i put the fucking phone down and i give her attention like a good husband it, you know what i mean that's just me personally i love my wife you know what i mean if she tells me she she doesn't ever tell me to stop playing games she knows that's who I am at the very core of who I am. I've, I've I've always been a gamer. And I told her that before I got with her. I was like, this is who I am. Like, you need to understand, like, I'm I'm heavily into video games. Like, video games is my life. Like, I play video games all the time. Like, yeah, we travel. We do all these cool things out in real life. We spend a lot of time out. We go to restaurants. We, we, we live life. But outside of that, like, who I am is video games. She's totally cool with that. Um... But if that's not the case for you and you're not a gamer or, I mean, it doesn't seem like you under, understand it's not your fault, like really sit down and talk talk with him. Like that's probably the best thing that you can do. And if it comes to the point where like you just aren't getting through to him and he is really, you know, in deep down in the dirt, in the trenches, fucking do what this guy said. If it's a genuine financial concern, call the bank block transaction with this company. Holy shit. By your post history, there are a lot. Post history. Can you see people's post histories? Do you have narcissistic traits? Wait, no, 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 no. Where, more post post history? Oh, oh, here, here. You can see post histories. Result of your parents. There's only one hit. What is this guy talking about? I don't. I don't know. Um. By your post history, there are more underlying issues with your husband and your marriage. This game can be addictive, but for most part, there is a reason people get addicted to it. True. Escape from reality is one thing. Uh, the most detrimental part of the game to daily life is how much people can spend on the game. And I'm pretty sure we can all agree, it's not just money, it's time. This is easily tracked by just checking the purchase history on Polarium Play. Also, just bank account, PayPal history would be easy to see if you have large chunks of money going to Polarium or Apple Pay. Most likely, sporadical chunks of $70 to $150, bro, fucking. Oh, man, I'm sorry. It's not that funny. I'll calm the fuck down. As someone who has played the game since close to its release, people who get very addicted to the game and don't manage things realistically burn themselves out very fast. It's all consuming for a short period of time, which is true. I've known people who've dropped like 60, 70 K in nine months and they just stop playing. Cause they're like, I beat the game. There's nothing for me to do. Um, and the resentment of the game builds up and they stop now talking as someone who studies psychology. If you are concerned about this with your husband's behavior, this is not a conversation to be had with us. Exactly what I'm saying, bro. I peep you, bro. That's what I'm saying. Psychology backgrounds, my dude. <laughs> um darren shout out to darren he's a psych uh background too it had to be with us trying to sneak around won't do you any good talk to him and he will likely be embarrassed if he spent a significant amount of money on the game so don't attack him true do not come from a position of attacking especially if it's something that they are obviously in love with or addicted to you know what i mean my wife has never come to me from a place of like attacking it's always been this is how i feel could you do this for a short period of time? You know what I mean? Um, and I've never gone out of my way to uh, attack something that she loves, like, I don't know, uh, diamond paintings. You know what I mean? If it's truly a problem, you need professional help. Speaking of professional help, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online... <laughs> I'm just <laughs> fucking with you guys. There are many mental health organizations you can call for free guidance. Just do a quick Google, uh, Google search to help find relevant ones in your country. Best of luck. Honey, I told you to get off Reddit. Let me be. <laughs> it's basically gambling. You should tell your bank to put a block on all transactions from the company. Company, pretty fucked up story on Reddit about a guy losing his entire life to an entirely different gacha game. It's not gambling if you're free to play, but it can be very much still addicting and a huge waste of time. It's not, ga yeah, it's not like gambling if you're free to play, but you're still spending a, lot, a shit ton of time, right? Gavin Masters Raid. Used to be a writer. It's an ongoing joke between us and the clan. But he he makes content. You can check him out. He does a lot of live arena content. 
And, um, you know, I did a collab with him. We talked. We've, I've done a few collabs with him. And one thing he used to tell me or that he loved telling me, or he told it to me once and it always stuck with me. He was like, um, you know, before Raid, before I became addicted to Raid, I was a writer. He, I was an author. Like, I, I used to write, man. <laughs> I used to write. I used to be an author, man. And then now Raid is my mistress. <laughs> like, holy fuck. Source, I'm in that boat. Fuck this game. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the shard system is totally gambling, for sure. But if you're not spending any money, it's not gambling any more than RNG in a video game. Yeah, uh, so the system is totally gambling. Killing a boss and opening shard, the boss gave you to see you. Yeah, uh, so uh, there's a way around blocking the company. You need to block all gift cards that can be purchased through. Yeah. Uh, can someone pull the Reddit thread where someone was talking about the gotcha addiction? What is this? A whale of a tail. Wall of text incoming. Don't say I didn't warn you. Warn you. I started playing Final Fantasy, 2016. Uh, married life with kids. No longer spent time on the console. Expedition into the abyss. The first banner I spent money on. First Mog King event. Uh, capacity stayed true to my result. Did not spend any more money. Made it through. My family kept asking me, "What am I tapping? Why am I tapping on my phone all the time? Why am I looking at the screen?" I put my phone away. Tried to limit myself. Uh, tried to do it while I pooped after putting the kids to sleep. Playing the game, not talking to anybody. Made it to November. $99. $200. I can spare that. Haven't bought a video game in six years. I deserved it. I earned it. Pulled for the Brave Frontier crossover event. Saved my resources. I was depressed. Had to work hard. Um, big Bridge. Okay, hold on. Let's read this. Then came the Big Bridge Gilgamesh. The best TMR you get. I still have a 10 plus 1 pull left after my Lunith. I had saved tickets from the Mog King, Greg. Uh, blah, 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 how bad I put my money in again. So he paid two hundred dollars. How could how bad could that be for the best accessory in the game? Put money in again. Hundred dollars, no Greg. Hundred dollars, no Greg. Hundred dollars, no Greg. Took a uh, break. Family had plans for the day. He was angry. He spent three hundred dollars not getting what he wanted. He did it again. $100, no Greg. $100, no Greg. Kept spending $100. Finally, he had Gilgamesh maxed out all of his unit inventory. Had to spend time to fuse the units. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He spent $700, but I would stop now. I had enough. Lightning strikes. Didn't spend anything. I was in control. Prince of all trades comes along. Got greedy. Pulled another $300. He spent another $300 after he just said he wouldn't he wouldn't spend anymore. Mana Mystery event came. Boom. $400, back to square one, paying the bill back. Spent nearly $1,700 on the game. Getting out of control, couldn't spend any more. Unlicked the credit card, could, uh, could keep playing the game. Maxed out my Randy as my friend, has blah, 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 blah. Made it to four months, it was my birthday. Charged $1,500 that day to get her. Sick of my actions, dealing with my card again. $4,000 spent. Oh, God, $4,000 so far. It's only four months. $1,000 later. No dark affair toss. Another two, another thousand dollars. He kept spending hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars, twenty five hundred dollars. Wait, what the fuck did I just do? Did I really spend twenty five hundred dollars to get a little animated piece of code? What is my wife going to think? What will my kids say? I tell them I didn't have much money to spare. I dutifully split split my paychecks three ways: household savings and for the gotcha game. Fuck it. I have what I want. Put in another uh, $1,000 to keep the energy refills. Play whenever he want. Near came. Oh my god, this keeps going. $100, nothing. $100, $3,000 for this event. $5,600. Okay, December 7th. December 7th. Which, wait, December 7th? World War II? Hold on, let me see something real quick. Was that... Uh, 1941, December 7th. Pearl Harbor attack. I knew it. December 7th, 1941, the Pearl Harbor attack. Sorry, that was a little side note. I couldn't help it. I, I'm a kind of a history guy. Um, So, used my credit card to buy food. Hold on, okay. So, my wife asked if she could use my credit card to buy food and send it to a family member celebrating a huge accomplishment. Offhand, she asked if she could see the balance. She saw something in my response trying to dismiss it and wouldn't let it go. Women will not let it go, bro. Your wife will not let it go. If she gets a little whiff of something, bro, she's gonna she's gonna she's gonna 
you just get a pry. You should just tell her outright from the get go. Let her know. Don't even bother. It's not gonna you know work. She'll get it out of you eventually. It just depends if you want to have a two minute talk or you want to have a two hour talk. I confess to have. You know, that's not exactly one for one, but I confess to having a balance of fifty six hundred dollars on my card due to Final Fantasy. A couple days later, told the rest of the story. Currently, fifteen thousand eight hundred dollars in debt my wife no longer trusts me my kids who ask me why i'm playing final fucking fantasy all the time will never understand how i selfishly spent money this is not funny by the way i i know i'm laughing it's it's more like it's astounding to me i'm not laughing at the situation because this is a like let's be real here real here this is a fucking fucked up situation right this guy is addicted and sixteen thousand dollars to some of you guys might not seem a lot but to a lot of people, $16,000 debt? That's not talking about the loss in opportunity costs from investments. That's not talking about the um, interest that the credit card company is going to charge him. So my wife no longer trusts oh, uh, bah, 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 how I selfishly spent money I should have been spending for their activities, their birthdays, festivals, clothes, schools, events. Never spent more than $1,000 on my wife at once. I spent $16,000 uh, $16, on digital garbage in a year, in a fucking year. If she decides that she will not divorce me, I owe her more than I could ever replay. I'm not playing anymore. You shouldn't, dude. You really shouldn't. I will not get cloud. I will leave 500K Lapis in an account that will stay idle. The friends I have will drop me as my days since last played increases. I will not get to beat Marlboro. Not to see how, uh, I can't see what chapter two, blah, blah, blah. It's over. Uh, don't wail irresponsibly. Some people are on this planet to be an example. Don't be that guy. Yeah. Dear God, good Lord, bro. That's, that's interesting. That, that might be, uh, oh shit, sorry. I'm addicted to leveling um, champions like uh, Warboy and Harrier. Uh, where is this? Yeah, okay. Uh, bu -bu. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. I think about this guy sometimes. Wish we got updates. Let him play. Watch his spending on it. That's all I got for advice. Sneak onto his account. No. Sneak onto his account. Feed all his five-star and six-star champions to his three and four stars in the tavern for XP. He will lose so much progress, he will quit. I can't decide if this is chaotic good or chaotic evil. It's lawful evil. You don't... Guys, you don't send saints to catch sinners. You don't send saints to catch sinners. There is a function where people can purchase shards, soul stones, where you have a percentage chance of getting improvements to the account to improve difficulty uh, that you're playing at, designed to be addictive like gambling, by giving the preemptive dopamine rush when waiting for the results of opening the shards, soul stones, etc., either pay off or bring uh, being let down. Something to consider, small change, get him uh, used to a th third-party app like RSL Helper. So yeah, exactly, right? That's another thing, dude. I saw somebody in Channel 2 talking shit about people who use RSL Helper. He was like, RSL Helper? More like, RSL, play the game for me. What's the point of even having an account? I'm like, bro, you gotta understand. You still need to set the teams up. You still have to theorycraft and do all of this work yourself. RSL Helper takes the menial tasks and does it for you so that you don't end up like this guy fucking tapping on his phone all the time or anybody else who, you know, I'm not judging. I'm not saying those guys are inherently bad or it's morally wrong, but I'm saying if you want to do something like sit down and watch eight episodes of a, a TV series with your wife, you can do that without being on your phone because now you just turn on the computer, let RSL help, help her do it for you. Um, things like Hell Hades Optimizer will automatically find teams and equip those teams for you. Well, now it does. Or find a build for your champion and equip the thing in the game for your champion. Equip the build so you don't have to spend extra five minutes looking for those specific pieces of gear. You know what I mean? And this is all so that you're not doing what we used to do before all of these things and manually sifting through gear and, you know, selling specific pieces of gear because now there's, there's an app for that. Or clicking replay. There's an app for that. Or, you know what I mean? So... Um, he can program it to run stuff, set about, set it, and go about his normal life. This will at least break the habit of consistently looking at his phone and checking it. 
there is a consistent there's a way you can find out how much you've spent at the game it only works on the pc version i think this is huh is this someone let me know if this is still a thing Hopefully you can get your husband back. Game word, uh, Game's not worth all that. All the ads in the game are just for in-game purchases for the game itself. He could wipe out, wipe out your life savings in a short period of time, but money isn't the only issue here. If you can't convince him yourself, I'm assuming you already tried multiple times. Try convincing to see some kind of addiction counseling. Get his head straight. Um, yeah. Does he spend on the game? Is this a real is this real or is it a joke post? Because if it's real, the game is doing him way more harm than you think. This is true. Address the issues, not the game. Say if he skips work or refuses to help the kids with their homework, you can focus on that without addressing. This is really smart, by the way. Don't focus on the thing that's addicting. Focus on the issues that they are inhibiting, right? So this is pretty good here. Focus on that without addressing the game. If you address the game first, he sees it as, I can't have this. True. If you address the stuff that's causing the issue, it's more like you can have hobbies, but they can't interfere with your responsibilities. And I think this is just inerrant, innately how guys think, right? Because for me, if my wife told me the game's causing issues, that's one thing. But if she tells me the trash needs to get taken out, boom. Boom or I need you to watch the show with me, or I need attention, or X, Y, and Z, we got work in the morning, or, or something, you know what I mean? Then it becomes more like, okay, this is objectively what needs to get done, and she's not saying that I can't play the game, I just need to take care of my responsibilities, which I do. So this is a really good post right here about the gambling aspect and the ads and whatnot. The company makes money by selling shards and energy and stuff. Some people buy them, some people don't. The enormous majority of players are free-to-play who don't spend anything or are very low spenders. At the other hand of the spectrum, there's people who spend thousands upon thousands. Can't really tell you which one of your husband uh, is one of them. Uh, they are obsessed free-to-players, and there's big whales who, who dump thousands in the game for fun. Don't even care about how much it costs. Okay. Time sync. Games are very addicting. They should, in, they should, I think they, they talked about how they can't implement a four times speed. You know how the game runs on like 2x? Well, they can't do that here because apparently it ruins the game or breaks it. It's a you problem. Have you tried playing it with him instead of complaining about him to strangers? Dear God. I don't know about this, guys. It's kind of, kind of weird. This is the weird response. Have you tried playing it with him instead Instead of, or sorry, have you tried playing it with him instead of just complaining about it with strangers? I get where you're coming from, but I don't know. Um, it'd be funny if he's reading this and doesn't know it's his wife. <laughs> My girlfriend was addicted to the game, downloaded to see what's going on. Result, we're both addicted now and our routine is based on the events of the game. Never send us, never spend a single penny on this game. My wife used to play this game. She actually spent some money on it as well. Um, but ultimately, like, uh, she just, I don't know, wasn't really into it. She continues to let me play. She doesn't play anymore. She plays different games. Totally fine. But I, I'm happy that she went out of her way to, like, try and play the game with me and try to connect with me like that. It's actually worse than gambling. You win worthless prizes here at a casino. There's a slim chance you win the jackpot. Accept it. Learn to play with them. <laughs> 